is up guys EJ here back with another video and today it's going to be my DVD collection 2016 uh, exploitation part 2 so last time we finished with the H's so starting off with the I's up first we have uh, I Spit on Your Grave uh, the original from uh, 1978 uh, directed by Mir Zahachi of course one of the most controversial films of the 70s and I also have the remake uh, from 2011 on Blu-ray yeah good little remake I thought it was uh, a little more uh, intense than the uh, than the first one but uh, still a good good movie up next we have uh, Ilsa She-Wolf of the SS uh, starring uh, Diane Thorne fantastic film one of my favorite exploitation movies uh, and my favorite uh, Nazi exploitation films uh, yeah, just a fantastic film overall. Okay, up next we have Irreversible uh, from 2002, directed by uh, Gaspar Noe. Uh, yeah, really disturbing movie with uh, Monica Bellucci and Vincent Cassel. Um, yeah, a couple scenes, really hard to watch, and was not a fan of that film when I first initially saw it. Up next we have uh, Roger Corman double feature, uh, Jaxie Counton. County Jail and Cage Heat from 1974. Uh, yeah, Jackson, Jackson County Jail. I can't say this title right. Uh, features Tommy Lee Jones and Robert Carradine, and Cage Heat was uh, directed by Jonathan Demi. Uh, good, good movies, those two. Up next, we have Jailbait uh, from 2014. Uh, not exactly in the vein of Orange is the New Black, if you ask me, but good uh, woman in pr prison movie. Uh, featuring uh, Sarah Malakul Lane, um, yeah, she's really good. Uh, good figure, that's for sure. Not a great movie, but still pretty cool. Up next, we have Killer Nun uh, from 1978. Uh, Blue Underground release with uh, Anita Ekberg, of course, from uh, uh, La Dolce Vita. Fantastic looking uh, woman. Uh, yeah, really good uh, non exploitation movie, that one. Up next we have uh, the original The Last House on the Left from 1972, of course, uh, directed by Wes Craven. Really good. And I also have the remake from uh, 2009. Um, yeah, not as good as the first one, but still pretty, pretty interesting. Um, yeah, good movie. Okay, up next we have uh, Russ Meyer's Lorna uh, from 1964, one of his early films in uh, black and white. Uh, really good though. Okay, up next we have uh, Machete uh, on Blu-ray from 2010. Of course, uh, one of the uh, Grindhouse trailers that became a feature. Um, directed by Robert Rodriguez. Yeah, really loads of fun. Danny Trejo, fantastic. Uh, Steven Seagal, Robert De Niro, uh, Michelle Rodriguez, Jessica Alba, um, Lindsay Lohan. Yeah, fun movie. And I also have the sequel uh, from 2013. Yeah, definitely not as good as the first one. Sofia Vergara, pretty good. Uh, Amber Heard. Um, yeah. All right, moving on down here. Up next, we have uh, Machine Girl, or The Machine Girl. Uh, Tokyo Shock original from uh, 2009. Yeah, really loads of fun. Um, great gore. Really cool film. Up next, we have another uh, Christina Lindbergh film, uh, Made in Sweden, from uh, 1971. Up next, we have uh, Malabimba, The Malicious Wh Whore, uh, from 1979. Fantastic movie, great looking film, really sexy, uh, X-rated version. Okay, up next we have uh, Mondo Topless, uh, another Russ Meyer film from uh, 1966, basically just... Um, about five or six different women, voluptuous women, dancing around topless. Um, you get the idea. <laughs> uh, also, uh, from Russ Meyer, we have uh, Mud Honey uh, from 1965, another one of his early uh, black and white films, but really good. Um, just like Lorna, uh, really good as well. Up next on Blu-ray, we have New Nuns uh, with Big Guns, a uh, fantastic title, not a fantastic movie. It has its moments, but not great. Okay, up next we have uh, Nunsploitation uh, for this collection. Uh, I have this mainly because of um, features uh, images in the convent. 
uh, directed by Joe D'Amato. It has a great documentary about Joe D'Amato as well. Also features the true story of the nun of Monza and the nuns of Saint Archangel. Okay, up next we have uh, Nurse 3D on Blu-ray with uh, Paz de la Huerta, who of course uh, she featured on uh, Boardwalk Empire on like their first or second season. Really cool, sexy, uh, sexy film uh, with uh, Katrina Bowden as well. Okay, up next we have uh, the Nurses Collection, uh, Roger Corman cult classic, features four uh, films from the early 70s, Candy Stripe Nurses, Night Call Nurses, Private Duty Nurses, and Young Nurses, and Night Call Nurses is probably my favorite of the bunch. Okay, up next we have uh, Private, or Follow, another Tinto Brass film from 2003, really good, really sexy. Okay, up next we have uh, Private School uh, from, uh, I think, 1981 or something like that, starring uh, Phoebe Cates and uh, Betsy Russell. Um, yeah, fun movie. Up next we have Private Lessons, uh, yeah, really interesting film featuring Sylvia Christel. Um, yeah, good, good little movie as well. Up next we have another uh, Nazi exploitation film. Uh, Red Knights of the Gestapo uh, from 1977, really good, crazy movie. Okay, up next we have Red State on Blu-ray from uh, 2011, yeah, a film directed by Kevin Smith, uh, sort of a departure from his View Askew movies, but really good, um, about a, uh, a cult who uh, kidnap a couple teenagers and then there's a standoff with federal agents uh, John Goodman, uh, Melissa Leo, and uh, Michael Parks. Up next we have Reefer Madness uh, from 1936. Of course, um, a lot of these anti-drug and alcohol movies were made in the 30s and 40s and Reefer Madness, although it's terrible and it's ridiculous, <laughs> um, it's a classic um, and probably the most well known of these exploitation films from that era. Okay, up next we have um, Ceylon Kitty from 1976, film directed by Tinto Brass again. Yeah, beautiful looking movie with uh, Teresa Ann Savoy, uh, Ken Adam, uh, the production designer on this film, did a lot of the production design on all the James Bond films uh, from the 60s and 70s. Alright, up next we have uh, my school schoolgirl report. Um, volumes, um, these German sex exploitation films from the early 70s. Uh, volume 1, What Parents Don't Think Is Possible. I love the uh, subtitles of these. Uh, volume 2, What Keeps Parents Awake at Night. Um, number 3, What Parents Find Unthinkable. This is probably my favorite, I think. It's either 3 or 4. Um, what drives parents to despair because it features uh, Christina Lindbergh uh, in a really sexy scene. Okay, up next we have number five, What All Parents Should Know. Um, number six, What Parents Would Gladly Hush Up. Number seven, What the Heart Must Thereby. <laughs> Interesting title, I still don't understand it. Um, and number eight, what parents must never know. Okay, up next we have uh, Screwballs uh, from I think 1980 or 83. Yeah, really fun movie. Just high school hijinks with uh, lots of uh, women taking their tops off. And I also have the sequel, Loose Screws, Screwballs 2. Uh, good fun, those movies. Up next we have Sex and Fury from 1973, again featuring Christina Lindbergh, if you can't tell I'm definitely a fan, and Maiko Aiki, uh, sort of a sexploitation meets uh, samurai film, really cool movie. Up next we have another one of these After Hours uh, releases, Sex Slaves of the SS, probably can't show the back of that to be honest. <laughs> Okay, up next we have uh, Shaft, 1971 original classic, of course, uh, featuring uh, Richard Roundtree, uh, soundtrack by Isaac Hayes, just fantastic. 
Okay, up next we have uh, Jack Hill's Spider Baby from 1968. Fantastic movie, also f uh, featuring uh, Lon Chaney and Sid Haig. Uh, director's Cut, yeah, just a really great film. One of my favorite exploitation movies. Okay, up next, a bunch of these uh, Nazi exploitation films. Uh, SS Camp, Women's Hell from 1976, directed by Sergio Garoni. Also directed by Sergio Garone, we have SS Experiment Love Camp, also from 1976. Next we have SS Girls, uh, from 1977, film directed by Bruno Matai. And also from 1977, we have SS Hell Camp. Um, yeah, a lot of these films all look very similar. Um, some of them use the same footage, it's kind of weird, um, but there you go. Okay, up next we have uh, Russ Meyer's Super Vixens uh, from, when this come out, I think, 1975, uh, I think. Uh, yeah, really good film again. There you go. Uh, what's his name? Uh, something Napier. I, I said it earlier in the other video. He appears in these Russ Meyer films. Anyway, moving on. Next we have Thriller, A Cool Picture uh, from 1974. My favorite Christina Lindbergh film, a limited edition. I know there's a uh, sort of uh, censored version uh, that has a, they call her One Eye, I think is the subtitle. Um, but yeah, you gotta go with the, uh, the uh, limited edition. Okay, up next we have Tokyo uh, Gore Police uh, from 2008. Another one of these uh, uh, Tokyo uh, films. Um, yeah, gore movies, really loads of fun. Okay, up next we have Up, uh, again directed by Russ Meyer. Um, yeah, from, uh, I have no idea what, from this game, I think 19, like 1978, I may have that mixed up with uh, Super Vixens, one of those. Anyway, moving on, next we have Vanishing Point uh, from 1971, great movie, uh, great car exploitation film, fantastic film. Um, yeah, I have the uh, uh, replica, die cast replica of the uh, Dodge Charger from that film. Okay, up next we have Vixen, another Russ Meyer film from uh, 1968. Um, yeah, the woman in this, uh, Erica Gavin, is uh, fantastic. R one of my favorite Russ Meyer films. Um, yeah, really loads of fun. Okay, up next we have uh, The Voyeur. Um, again, directed by Tinto Brass uh, from 1994. Um, really good, just really sexy. The opening scene in that film is unbelievable. Okay, up next we have Wide Open, another Christina Lindbergh film from 1974, even though she's barely in it, and I can, probably shouldn't show the back of that. <laughs> Alright, um, next we have uh, the Women in Cages collection, Roger Corman triple feature, which features The Big Bird Cage, Big Doll House, and Women in Cages. Uh, Pam Greer um, is in uh, a couple of these, I think, or one of these. Really good though, uh, the Big Bird Cage is really good. And oh, last but not least, if I can get it out, we have uh, Bruno Matai's Women's Prison Massacre um, from, I think, 1980 or 83, something like that. And it also features, uh, second feature, Cage Women. So good uh, women in prison double feature. So there is my exploitation section, part two. Uh, up next will be uh, family films, which um, I'll probably be able to do in one video. So thank you for watching as always, and until next time, I'll see you. Bomb. James Bond.